<laughs> so in this session we will see how uh, so few of the templates uh, field templates how we can apply and uh, how that uh, uh, field templates we can apply uh, for example uh, to change the header uh, header field right in header layout one of the field uh, uh, then date calculation date validation basically so we will see how we can apply those templates uh, so first i'll take a uh, redwood sales and i'll take a uh, contact object uh, so here i'll uh, i'll edit the contact uh, edit layout and then I'll try to add uh, a date of birth field. And then to that date of birth field, uh, so we will be adding some of the uh, validations. So I'll take this. Once I uh, go into the Visual Builder Studio page, I can add uh, the field. So by default, we don't have uh, this page, uh, edit page. Um, edit In edit page, we don't have the, uh, the date of birth field, right? So first we will add this. Okay, so now let me point out the uh, uh, edit layout and then we'll go into the edit layout. Okay. Uh, so I'll quickly duplicate and then I'll add the field. Okay. So data of what? So that's the field I'm adding here. Just move to top. Uh, so now if I preview this, uh, so 
by default there there will be no validation right uh, that means uh, user can select uh, any of the date either it can be future date or past date any of the date uh, that is available in the calendar but now what we will uh, be restricting is uh, so they should not select uh, the future dates so only um, only till today so the user can select dates uh, all other dates will be uh, grayed out so they will not be able to select so for that uh, so we we can use uh, a template so i'll 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 click on the field and i'll create a new template okay now uh, here in the template so again uh, once we create any of the field template uh, so by default we get this uh, input text right so but we need uh, the date or date time so the, this date of birth is a date field so we use input uh, date so this is the uh, field input date so the the value will be oj hyphen input uh, date so if you want you can just drag and drop and then check the syntax so there's the syntax so i'll be just uh, replacing this the value and uh, the display name and the value that it, it holds uh, will be seen okay. and i can remove this so here uh, one more thing uh, to notice is uh, if you use the curly braces here uh, then it means it it is a read and write so if you use square brackets here uh, so that it means a fi it is a fixed value or constant value so the label name or uh, the display name will be fixed so it is used uh, it's read only okay. so there is no need to update this but the value can be updated so for that, uh, we can just use this. And now, uh, now if we if we click on this OJ input date component, then you can see the properties here. Uh, for date fields, you get this min uh, max expressions. So uh, here we can give the expression, or if you give specific date uh, only till that date, uh, you can you can uh, enter, or you can user will be able to select. But we need it dynamically so that uh, we can use uh, something like uh, the date here. So this is a JavaScript uh, expression editor, right? So we should provide a uh, expression that is that that should be in JavaScript. So uh, uh, to evaluate, basically, so we can use uh, uh, we can get the expression from JavaScript, or simply we can use uh, this inspect. And if you go to the console uh, here, uh, you can you can use this console screen. Uh, to to run as a JavaScript uh, executor. So the expression will be a uh, new date. So if you type this, so it will print the value. So this is the new date expression. I mean, new, new date, it will give the today's date in this format, right? So, so we need to convert into ISO uh, format. Okay, uh, we need to convert into ISO string and then we need to uh, get the date only. So for that, uh, we use this ISO.to string and basically it converts like this. Then 
um then uh, we need only this uh, date right until this so this is the uh, this is the this is the only date the remaining will be the time and uh, seconds for that we can use the slice Zero to ten. Okay. If you use slice function, or even you can use sub substring uh, from zero to ten, so you will get the first uh, ten ten characters. So now you got this expression. You can use this expression uh, into this JavaScript area. So it returns the date value uh, based on the current date. So the max value that we can enter into this uh, date field that is uh, that is tied to this birthday field is uh, today. Now, if I preview this, Um, now I'll go to this field and now you can observe all other uh, dates are disabled. Only the previous uh, dates and previous years uh, we will be able to select. Okay. Uh, so the same way if you want to add uh, something, uh, if you add some more days to uh, the current date, so we can use this uh, expression. So this is also um, basically we are adding, we are getting the date and then we are adding the number of days. And then again, we are converting to uh, the string, uh, ISO string, and then we will be uh, calculating. So in detail, if you want to see, so this is the new date, right? So this is the new date for uh, uh, this. To this new date, uh, we are getting the date and and to that we are adding six days. So it's plus six days. So that is 26. So to this, uh, uh, this 26, we are, uh, we are setting to the uh, current date. And then uh, we will, so this will be in, uh, milliseconds okay after setting the value so it will be in milliseconds then uh, this milliseconds we will again use new date uh, to convert into uh, the uh, the date okay so now again we got the date right and from this, uh, we will convert because this is not in ISO format. We need uh, into like this format. For that, again, we uh, we use this. Uh, we convert into ISO string, and then we use we use sub sub string from zero to ten, or you can use slice. Uh, we will get the date required date. So now we will use this same expression. Uh, so that it allows uh, the date uh, 
six days from today till till six days from today now you can see uh, previously we will be able to we were we were able to select only uh, 28th until 28th now uh, the additional 6 days uh, we will be able to hit, uh, select same way uh, if you want to um, get the past date right so we can use uh, minus in place of plus we can use minus. So this gives the past date. So a 14 bit group. Okay, now we can select only till 14th. So this is how we can apply uh, the 